This is my Home Depot F22, 3 pounds, 13 ounces, wingspan 39 and a half inches, length 56 inches. There you've gotten three views of it. This is my first flight pre, pre first flight control check. Gives you a sense of the uh, throws. You can see the rudder if you look real closely underneath the airplane. This was the first takeoff and I gotta tell you I was really amazed at how well it flew initially. Uh, I needed to put a couple turns of up in both elevons but other than that I didn't make any additional trim adjustments. I chose the YF-22 because versus the F-22 because of the plan layout there's more surface area on the elevons to the out, outside, which uh, when I had been flying my Home Depot F-15, I had discovered that I needed to reduce sensitivity and roll, and, oh no, excuse me, reduce sensitivity and elevator, and maintain uh, the roll sensitivity. This one uh, is uh, well balanced both in roll and pitch. Uh, with the surfaces the way uh, they are. As you can see for a first flight uh, I was really enjoying the way it handled and had absolutely no hesitation to fly it low. Uh, you saw the first loop and the first roll with the aircraft and then I pulled it up and just did a series of rolls vertically. Uh, the airplane just performs fantastic. Uh, later on, we had a new camera that we were working with, and when we zoom with the camera, the, uh, the pictures will get fuzzy. I did a lot of high alpha work uh, on the second flight, high angle of attack that is, and did a, a lot of high bank turns in high alpha, and uh, the airplane just holds line extremely well no tendency to fall off. Uh, this is going to be one heck of an air show airplane. Here you can see me doing just a high alpha pass on the first flight. Uh, even though they're fuzzy, as I say, on the uh, second flight film clips, I've got some additional high alpha, but that gave you a good sense of its handling. It just uh, handles extremely well. I also uh, did some turns at high alpha using the uh, the embedded rudder that's in the fuselage rear box and uh, it's uh, very effective. I seem to be getting a little bit more roll due to yaw uh, on the F-22 versus the F-15 uh, but certainly not a lot of roll. Uh, I did some slow rolls and some four points with the rudder and it seemed to hold fairly well. This is the first landing and again it's quite stable. It's very easy to set down and slide across the ground. This is the second takeoff. They had just been doing some work on our soccer fields, killing some weeds, so there were some clumps of grass. But once I got uh, the beginning of the slide, it just uh, slid very easily into the air. Again, I, I am, was just dumbfounded about how well it flew. This was the second flight where I had made the uh, trim adjustments. I had mentioned a couple turns of up in each clevis. I may want to do a little thrust angle work, uh, not up and down, but left and right. This airplane, because the engine is mounted a little higher than the wing water line, uh, I put three degrees of down thrust uh, in the uh, motor and it seemed to be right on because I saw no pitch changes from high to low throttle. And here you can see the, uh, the fuzzy high alpha work I did in the second flight. Again, tight turns. Uh, turns being initiated with the uh, rudder. No tendency to do anything that was that you would call a bad habit. I don't have a small F-22 uh, foamy to compare it to, but it was very impressive. Anyway, that's the second landing. Thanks for watching.